over the weekend, I was out and about doing my things with my friends, right? And we went out somewhere and, you know, we were dressed nice. It was a nice evening. And a young man comes over and talks to my friend, right? Something transpires. So when she, when he walks off, she tells me like, so that guy was the friend of the guy over there in the Fenty, in the all Fenty outfit. And I was like, what? Cause like her and I just don't, we don't, we don't understand that. We don't respect that. Like, I don't like for men, I don't care who you are. You know what I mean? So we're trying to figure out, is it that <clears throat> his ego was so big that he thought that he could send over an errand boy to try to talk to someone for him? Or is he so afraid of rejection? That is his way of like, cause some guys like that even see macho are like shy, you know what I mean? Or are like, don't know how to really talk to women. Um, so is it the fear of rejection or is it, is it, what is it? Is it ego? Like, what is it? So that's pretty much where it stemmed from. And I think in life, lots of different things also going on in life that, you know, whether it's your career, whether it's whatever, like life comes with a certain level of rejection that I don't know if people are aware of. And so now in this time that we live in now, I see like people take rejection so much harder than when we were younger. It was just like, okay, you know, move around. But people really get like in their feelings. I don't know. I just want to know what you guys think about this topic, about rejection in general. What are y'all thoughts? Go ahead, Eugene. Share your thoughts. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. You, you don't start like that. I That's saw you make a face when she was saying I, it. <laughs> I, I was making the face because I was trying to determine what the, if, if Kayla thinks if she was in this situation, I was trying to wonder whether she felt that she was a person who's intimidating or the her friends are intimidating to men. Um, I don't know. And I don't care. I feel like if you don't have enough confidence to come talk to me, it's not going to work. No, I get that. But I mean, it's not a question of what he feels because he can't mm -hmm. know you. Well, he can't know the group, but you can know each other. So do you just generally feel that you're an intimidated bunch of women or are you very approachable? Because a lot of women say that they actually appreciate being unapproachable. No, I think, I believe I'm very approachable. Me and my friends always dress very nice wherever we go. And we're very smiley, happy, have a good time kind of people. Let's get a drink, let's have a good time. So I feel like I'm very approachable. I'm very like social. I will talk to like anyone. So. I don't know. I mean, if you are, I'm confident. So there's that. I don't know if that is intimidating because I think it is because some people just aren't confident. You know what I mean? Like some people start talking to people and the more they start talking, uh oh, am I, is he, is it, is it me? Please don't tell no, me it's I, me. No, no, we hear you. No, okay, everything. it's him. He's lagging. Okay, anyway. So no, I was saying like, if you're really confident, sometimes like as people who aren't very confident, someone will start talking to them about something. And like the longer they start talking to them, the more that person like will be like, oh, OK, and start like agreeing. I don't know if you've seen that versus like people that are like confident and kind of stand on their ground. They're like, I'm just like, no. And I don't owe you an explanation. Like, mm -mm. this is my life. Yeah, so <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, right. But what happened in this scenario after the pointing and after this is his friend, what happened? I mean, we we mingled around and we ended up leaving and going somewhere else. Nothing really happened though. But like her and I, like, I don't know. I just I don't care who you think you are. Like if you don't have enough confidence or if you feel rejection that much, or if you feel like your ego is so big that you have to send someone over or like do something other than directly come up and say, Hey, how are you doing? I mean I feel like a, a, it was like a rooftop, like terrace bar bar with like little tables and stuff. Right. I feel like the easiest thing to do is just like, can I get you a drink? I mean, how fucking hard, I'm sorry. <laughs> how hard is it? Like, I don't know. Like, even if you don't know how to talk to women to just, I don't know. Like, what do you think I want to say? Yes. Women always say yes. 
<laughs> you can exactly. <laughs> Right. I don't understand the, I don't understand that. That's not something that's, I don't know how prevalent it is where you are. You're in Miami, right? Yeah. So I don't know how prevalent it is. I don't know how. We weren't in Miami yeah. though. We were in actually in West Palm. Oh, right. So I don't, I, I don't know. I, I don't know how prevalent it is. I think it's quite easy to approach women, but I think it's only easy to approach women that you have a certain sense of security about yourself, a certain sense of confidence about yourself that doesn't derive from what any woman is going to say about you or any other, any other person is going to say. And that type of character isn't developed overnight and it, is, it, isn't, no, it isn't average either. The average person is quite concerned about being judged by others, being critiqued by others, being rejected by others, um, just being looked at in a particular way. So that does kind of pay in. And you say he's wearing a full Fenty outfit. I have to, I have to say to my, like, when I hear people say, yeah, we're in a fizzle in a full fancy. And, and so that's that's why you see why I thought that that it could be the ego. You know what I mean? That like I'm that guy. But I don't. And think I have people that me. work for me or whatever. You know. But that's not that's not what it means to me. When I heard you say full fancy outfit, I kind of heard I need some external way of validating right. myself. To, to I need some compensate. other way, right? To compensate. Okay. That's what I hear. Okay. I don't know the person. I don't. I can't. I can't understand. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know him either. Right? <laughs> but but that's what the first thing that comes to my mind. You can be very unassuming if you're confident. You can be very unassuming, but still carry a room, or carry a space. Right. Right. You can you can dress in anything basically. Mm -hmm. But some people over elaborate, and the full fancy outfit seems to be like a cue, <laughs> a clue, <laughs> like that maybe some compensation is going on. Okay. So we'll, get into, of ego. we'll get into things that people do to compensate later. Okay, <laughs> what do you think? Uh, what do you think? Do you think people fear rejection? Um, I think that what Eugene said is correct. I think it's not average um, to not worry about these things. I think that that's more of like an extraordinary quality to just, you know, not worry at all. Like you're going to do what you're going to do no matter what anyone else says or does and still put yourself out there in any situation. It could be relationship wise, business wise, anything, just going for something without thinking about, oh no, what's going to happen? Are people going to like it? Are they going to reject me or whatever? Um, in terms of your, your example earlier, well, like a couple of seconds ago, um, you know, I think that maybe sometimes people use their friends as a buffer, but I know that, you know, me, oh man, you really would have to do that. Like if I were single and someone sent their friend over, it would have to be in the most sweet, cute TV movie type of way for me to like honor that. Because I think that that in and of itself is kind of like a, red flag. Um, I know some people might be shy and I know some people might be awkward in certain situations, but even the shy, awkward dudes like can build up the courage to come just say hi, even if they're awkward about it. Like I will, I would actually, if I were single, take that over someone sending their friend when people are in their thirties, like <laughs> this, it sounds very, um, high school-ish, you know? You're sending your friend over. Hey, my friend wants to talk. What? No. It would have to be, yeah, like I said, it would have to be an extraordinary setup by the friend and like something that was so cute. Yeah. But just a regular, like, hey, my friend wanted to talk. Uh-uh. No. I, mean, I don't know if it came out that regular, but I I I I she just gave me the synopsis. So I have no idea like how it how it came out, but either way, it's a no-go. Wait, what? So the friend came to just No, we were at the bar. She was to the right of me. He came from the other side this way. So he was and on talk the to your side friend. Yeah. To tell you now this is like two people. No, no, no. To talk to her. To talk to her. He thought there was like two intermediaries in there. Yeah, I'm like, like wait, it had what? nothing to do with me. I was just friend there. With friend, her. Like <laughs> Okay. So what type of friends, what type of friends do this anyway? Is this normal? Friends actually do this often? Friends do run as, as intermediaries? They, they actually to make me, the connection? To me, uh, now I'm going to step out of some boxes. <laughs> but to me, 
that gives the opposite of what I want you to be giving if you're trying to talk to me. Because I live in Miami where I am around, like y'all like to say whatever, Kayla's a so K I Kayla is out here, despite what people think about my social circle. I do do things. And I when I'm around certain people that are upper, whatever you want to call them, let's just leave it at that. That's stuff that they do to get hoes. Like they send they 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 people on their team to like go and scout like girls to come back to the house or to come to the section or you know so to me I don't I don't like that at all I don't like that at all that because just living in Miami like that's what I picked up like that is how mm -hmm. they move around here in LA any like major city that is how they move around especially like when a guy is projecting that he has some type of money or wealth or whatever, you know? So, mm -mm. no, it's a no-go for me. <laughs> so, so, I'm so not talking scenario. to you. No. So in that scenario, that's not a question of, of, of rejection. That's the question of ego. That's why you might have asked that, right? That's it's what I was saying. Is it rejection or is it ego? Because I know there are men that are shy. I know that it could be a stressful thing to be out in a club full of people and going and talking to somebody you don't know. I get that. Well, not really, because I do that kind of stuff. You know, I did it the other day at brunch, like short, 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 short story time. There was a really long wait at this restaurant on the beach that I wanted to go to. Right. So I went, I put my name on the list and I'm just looking around for the black, black people. Cause you know, I live in a mixed area. So I'm black people. I found a, a black lady and her son sitting at a six top, right. Right on the water. So I went up and I was like, hi, how are you? I'm Kayla. She was like, hi, I'm so-and-so. And I was just like, um, are you guys leaving anytime soon? Like, can, um, if I take care of your food, can we sit with that? Can me and my family sit with you? And she's like, yeah, sure. We're about to leave anyway. And we just sat down and started talking to her and, um, she didn't even let me pay for her food, but, but I was going to, and she was like, oh, we, we made a friend. And then her, her son ended up leaving. And then by the time I'm on my way to the parking lot, they're like, your table is ready. <laughs> so it's like, for me, I will talk to anyone. So I can't relate to, that anxiety but i know that people have social anxiety i know it exists you know so i'm trying to be understanding to like how people feel when they think about being rejected yeah but how does a person with social anxiety end up dressed in a full fenty outfit out in a you know on the rooftop and sending friends to women how does that how does that happen you tell me you're a guy like what no, do guys no, be thinking in their guy. head I'm when they are about to talk to a girl, like, are they thinking, what if she says, like, what are the, what are you guys thinking? Well, I guess I'm kind of like you, but I, I don't, I don't know because I don't have, I don't have that type of social anxiety either. And I have, I can't remember ever having that type of social anxiety or ever having that, that thought in my head that says, if this, if she says what I don't want her to say, then my life's going to fall apart. I don't care. I've never really cared like that. That's something to do with my, I guess, upbringing. Or maybe it's my profession, or maybe it's just the way, uh, you know, I've always been a person who's very, been very sociable, always been a person who's very able to speak to anybody, um, whether they're strangers or whether they're more intimate connections with me. So I've never been a person to, to feel that way. So I don't know. I know I have friends who sometimes, you know, lose the hair tops when they think about women. <laughs> I don't know why, but they can't really explain it either because a lot of it's rational. Because when they come to explain it, none of it's kind of rational. It don't come on kind of. It don't come on rational. So, you do. I don't know. Are you the same way um, in other situations as well, like professionally or just so anything that doesn't have to do with, you know? I know you're married and everything, but like outside of the whole, like back when you were dating and all that, are you the same exact way with um, in terms of rejection and opinions in, let's say, a professional setting? Yeah, I like to think of myself that way. It, I, you have to ask somebody else. Sometimes we, we tend to we tend to look about look at ourselves a particular way. Mm -hmm. and we feel I feel we, you know we give ourselves a, a positive spin. We give our characters positive spins. Mm -hmm. um, I think the average person would say I am. The person who looked at me and knows me would say I am. That in every social setting I am this way. Um, I don't know if I can be any different in my profession mm -hmm. because my profession involves a lot of critique. And a yeah. lot of analysis and a lot of, you know, and a lot, and you meet a lot of people who have a lot of problems and you see, I guess maybe this is what it is. 
it's a strange thing. You know, everybody thinks they're exceptional and their exceptionality either works for them or against them. When you sit in professions like mine, I hear enough people and if enough stories to realize that we're all the same. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing really, nothing really stands out. No one really stands out as exceptional in a profession like mine. All these stories seem to dovetail into each other. If, if, if Kato was to start the show with that story, there'd be a thousand other stories just like it. There's somebody in the other side of the country doing the same thing in the same oh. outfit, you know, with the same mindset. This is not, exce it's not exceptional. Mm -hmm. Kayla, you're on mute. Oh, okay. No, I was going to say that's interesting. I, I didn't, I didn't think of that like, like that before. Um, I guess that's true, but I do think that maybe um, rejection also comes from people having high expectations. Is it that? Because I don't know, growing up, my mom used to always tell me like, Kayla, all they could say is no. <laughs> and then you ain't lose nothing that you didn't even, you ain't even have before. So, but what if they say yes, then you have something that you didn't have before. You know what I mean? So it's like, mm -hmm. what's going to happen if they say no? I mean, nothing. You're just going with your day like you were going to, you know? So I don't know. I, that's how I would raise. Like, just go after it. 